Hello everyone, welcome to session 3 of LTech 654 Programming Games and Simulations. This week we have a short video focused on the three things I'm going to ask you folks to do this week. The first of those things is to learn about the formal elements of games. Now, to do that, we're going to build on our answer to the question, what is a game? And of course, we've been learning that one definition of a game is a system in which players engage in an artificial conflict defined by rules that results in a quantifiable outcome. We're going to build on that definition by introducing a new author, Tracy Fullerton, and specifically, we're going to draw on her book, Game Design Workshop. Now, if you haven't heard of Fullerton before, she's an experimental game designer and a professor. She runs the Game Innovation Lab at USC. And in this book, it helps people create digital games that are fun to play. And it uses kind of a non-technical approach to game design that I think will be extra helpful to all of us as we're thinking about programming games and simulations. Specifically, what we're going to talk about this week are what she calls formal elements of games. And she argues these are the elements that form the structure of a game. And without formal elements, games cease to be games. And as you can see here, there are eight formal elements. Players, objectives, procedures, rules, resources, conflict, boundaries, and outcomes. And of course, I want to draw your attention to three of them, which are not seen in our definition of what makes a game a game. And those are procedures, resources, and boundaries. So Fullerton is giving us a little bit more of a fleshed out view of the structures of games and the elements we absolutely need to have in order to make a game a game. So that's one thing that we're going to be doing this week. The second thing we're going to be doing is actually playing a game. And the game that I'm going to ask you to play is called Beats Empire. It is a music management game for formatively assessing students' understanding of data. And this was put together by an interdisciplinary group of researchers and game designers and can be used to help support teaching and learning of the K-12 computer science framework. While you're playing that game, I'm going to be asking you to make connections to our definition of what games are, what roles games are playing in education, and, of course, the formal elements of games. So that's the second thing that we're going to do this week. And then the third thing is we're going to watch a tutorial on how to create projects in Godot. So I've put together about a 10 or 11 minute video that provides a gentle introduction into starting projects in Godot. And it kind of walks you through the interface and some of the ways that you can modify and adapt the interface to suit your needs. This tutorial will act as a setup for next week, where we'll actually dive in and start programming with Godot. Okay, everyone, it's a nice, easy week with one, two, three things you need to focus on. Have a great week, and I'll see you in Canvas.